So we have two million objects in our collection. The Royal Navy and also Chat Over Chat have come together and chosen just three of those to put a wider historical context onto those objects. And one of those objects is HMS Trincomalee. I think um, the group chose this object because of its connection to the Indian heritage. It's got a connection to Portsmouth in that it was in the harbour as a training ship. It's now in Hartlepool as a museum, so you can go in the ship, walk around, have a look and see what it's like. For me, the interesting thing about HMS Trincomalee is, well, I'm actually from the northeast of England, so I, I visit, I think I'm one of the few people in the team who worked on this who've, who have visited. HMS Trincomalee was built in the Bombay area, what is now known as Mumbai, in about 1816. She was built by Indian shipbuilders, the Wadia Company, and they actually built a lot of ships in that area because the East India Company was based there and they were using that as a port. And as a consequence, the Royal Navy actually commissioned a lot of their ships. 30 other ships and everything else they've done. So that was, I think that was a real wow factor that they built a ship because, you yeah. know, British have always ex have very high expectations and to choose the Indians to do it for them is, uh, you know, big thumbs up. Teak was really important for the building of HMS Trincomalee because it was really hard wearing. Um, it could cope with the salt water a lot better than oak and it also lasted well in hot and cold temperatures. The fact that the British Empire also used the materials such as teak and oak and emptied Indian forests and emptied British forests for use to make Navy ships is a common thing across both of those countries. She made her way to Portsmouth in 1818 but then wasn't actually used by the Navy until the 1840s. She then went back up to the northeast of England for a while as a training ship and then came back down to Southampton. And then a lot of people remember her in the sort of 1960s and 70s as a training ship in Portsmouth Harbour. She was named, renamed HMS Fadroyant when she became the training ship. My uncle stayed on it in the early 70s um, when he won a competition and he did all kinds of shipbuilding stuff and they did rope knotting and splicing and sailing. And then eventually, in 1987, it was decided to save her as a museum ship, so she went back up to Hartlepool again. I remember seeing that it was built in India, but there wasn't a lot of information around that and it wasn't really highlighted. So to, to shine a light on that and to look at the people who built it, where it was built, and the Indian heritage, even of shipbuilding in the United Kingdom, and for the Royal Navy, I think is massively important. <laughs> So the fact that the Trincomalee was described even in the even in Hartlepool as Nelson's frigate and it's not <laughs> and the fact that it's um it's a teak built ship and that it was built in India and not a lot of people know that either so it's it's like yeah delving into its truth I'm just intrigued and wondering, why has the history not been shared? It, there was a mixed feeling. Initially, a little bit upset, a little bit taken aback, but later on, obviously, we're glad that now it's all coming to surface and it's still there and they've preserved it and looked after it well. So we can say, hey, look, here is something that India's produced and made. <laughs>